sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. City boy, you work all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? The marrow of these trees, man. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Marro? Huh? Never thought of that. Maybe so. Careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon! Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Hey, Benny! What are you doing? Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. Okay, the beasts of Black River are blowing bubbles at the bottom. So let's power on through, huh, Glot? Manny, look at that badass gate. I can't drive through that. We have to... Ejole. <laughs> this outer gate is huge. I'll need Glottis to open... <laughs> Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. Hello? Miss Colomar! We're here to save you! Hey, lay off the racket, the whole town's asleep. But I don't want a drag race! When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town! Pit. You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. 
Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. Watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicave ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Gladys, you gotta hide that car. In a minute, Manny. I'm talking to Mr. Doc Master here. There was this one high-pitched whine it was making. Really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! 
Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry Dr. Bonewagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? You folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well. When I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Oh, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I... It's all in there. Oh, Manny. Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Hey boss, you gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba.
My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be borne to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Calavera, it is in... Say, oh, please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Manuel, I am sorry to hear that you have not heard from your meche. You must be patient and let your heart remain open. If it is meant to be, you will someday be reunited. Ha! Ah, he still thinks I'm in love with her. Manuel, we have found the head of the serpent. Using the computer access you provided us, we picked up a thread that led us to the man who corrupted the Department of Death. His name is Hector Le Mans. Once a small-time racketeer, he has grown fat and powerful by robbing the newly dead. Watch out for the name Hector Le Mans, Manuel. And be careful. Dear friend, our movement now has true momentum, and our numbers are rapidly growing. Much of this is due to our communications and intelligence systems, both of which we owe to you. In light of your contributions, I would like to announce your promotion to special agent status. I, Salvador Limones of the Lost Souls Alliance, salute you, Manuel Calavera. You are a great ally in this noble revolution. Great news. We've discovered a new secret talent of our tiny messengers. We don't know how they do it, but these mysterious birds can actually find their targets just by looking at a photograph of the addressee. To celebrate, Eva has made them all little berets. I'll send you some pictures. Manuel. I am troubled by reports of you buying the automat and converting it into a nightclub. It's fine for you to be comfortable in Rubacaba for your long stay, but I pray you haven't lost sight of the larger goals. It is not this world, but the next in which our true glory lies. I just got this one today. Beware, Manuel, for you are in grave danger. Somehow rumor has spread on the streets of El Marro of your presence in Rubacaba. If this information reaches Hector Lamans, he surely will send his evil operatives after you. You must give up your search for Mercedes for the time being. And please, be out of Rubacaba on the next ship. I think he's exaggerating the danger a little. But I do feel pretty stupid for putting my name on the big sign. Hello, Manny. Hola. You think she'll come in tonight? You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club. We got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty tack once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've got to find Meche and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. 
What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. <laughs> I like it. Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, -wee! Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Yes, I better take this with me, for safekeeping. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Well, maybe just a sip. Ah. Uh. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You, you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. What are you doing in my club, Charlie? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you settle your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Just, um, 
Give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. Le numéro gagnant, le 18, rouge, Perremank, 18, red. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay. Tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yeah! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Hup, oh. I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new Kochek system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night. That you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes, I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Okay, back to work. Okay. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, uh, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. Thank you. 